Now is the time, Portalmaster. Hey everybody, this is Mike and Connor with SkylanderNuts.com. We're here today to do another Skylanders Trap Team character review. Now we have one more Trap Master to do. Who are we going to be doing today, Connor? Enigma! Enigma! Alright, now he was the last Magic Trap Master, and maybe the last Trap Master overall to be released. Uh, we waited for him for a while, and he's kind of mysterious. Do you know where he comes from? Not really. No. Well, you know what? Nobody knows where he comes from because he comes from a nameless place between worlds. Do you know how he got to Skylands? Not it was really. a Mabu. It was a Mabu mystic. He was kind of bored one day, and he wanted to have someone to play Sky Stones with. So he opened a gateway to a nameless place, which means he doesn't know where the gateway went to. And out came Enigma came into the Skylands world and he started talking to the Mabu and he told the Mabu all kinds of stories about his um, homeland and really kind of entertained the Mabu yeah. but the Mabu knew how to open the gate but he didn't know how to shut the gate and pretty soon Dark Minions found out that there was this gate to another place and uh, they wanted to go through the gate to conquer it mm. that doesn't sound like a good thing does it no, because it's a nameless place. They won't know where they are, and maybe for some reason in the place there's more minions that they just didn't know. Yeah, you know, evil minions nice like minions. to conquer, and they don't really care, or they're not really afraid of any evil minions on the other side. But, you know, Enigma, he did not want these minions to get into his homeland, okay? Nobody yeah. in Skylands may know where that is, but, of course, Enigma did not want anyone to hurt, you know, his people. So, unfortunately, the Mabu couldn't shut the gate himself. He didn't know how. But Enigma was able to use his Staff of Mystery and close the gate forever. Of course, there was a problem with this, isn't there? Mm, yeah. What's the problem with Enigma closing the gate forever? She couldn't get back to her homeland. He was stuck in Skylands, unable to return to his homelands. So that's kind of sad. Mm -hmm. But the Trap Masters were really nice guys and they saw how he made that sacrifice for his people mm -hmm. and they decided that he would have a new family with the trap masters yep. so they made enigma a trap master and now he's got a traptanium staff of mystery which helps him the, fight the off the evil. evils of skylands yeah that's right all right well let's take a closer look at this guy mm. i don't know if you can see on the camera we're going to try to show you can you see his face can you see his face, Connor? No. I no. really just can't. Do you know what he looks like? No. Well, you know what? He doesn't have a face. It's There's no face in there. If you get this character, it's empty. It's just a hood. It's very mysterious. He's got this Treptanium purple Staff of Mystery with a big, like, eyeball on it. The, he kind of kind of looks like a seeing eye. Yeah. And he's got legs that are made out of like crystal. His his uh, whole cape is see through, it's red and and white. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard to understand what kind of creature he is because he's from this nameless place. He does have blue hands though. You see that? Mm, yeah, that's mysterious. Yeah, he's got some part of a body. Looks like it kind of looks like um like blue troll. A blue troll, yeah. Uh, is, you know, nobody knows That's because true. you can't really see him. He's kind of like a ghost. Do you think he's a ghost? Maybe. A good ghost. A good, good ghost. ghost. He does seem to be a good guy. He is a trap master after all. Uh, let me check the... No, you barely can... You can't even see if his face is in the back. There's no face. There's no face in there. You can look as much as you want. It's very mysterious. But yet he does have a body of some kind and he's got fingers. We know he's got fingers. So, all right. Well, that's a look at Enigma. I mean, he's pretty cool. He's very mysterious. For a magic Skylander, yeah. you know, he maybe he could be undead because he's kind of like a ghost. But he's a magic one. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's got that huge staff. So, you know, when you get him in the game, he's going to have something to some kind of attack with staff. Yeah, maybe he got his magic with the staff. Like, the staff is purple like magic, not black like undead. 
Yeah, I, you know, he definitely controls a lot of his magic through his staff. But uh, when, once we get him in the game, you're going to see what other moves he has. So, are you ready to do that? Yep. All right, let's get him in the game. We'll show you some gameplay. We'll show you all the moves that we've chosen for Enigma. And uh, I, I rather like him. So, let's take a look and we'll be right back with a closer look at Enigma. Out of sight. Okay, Enigma is on the portal. Connor and I are back, ready to show off his moves. You ready, buddy? Uh-huh. All right, let's take a look at this Magic Trap Master. Now, his first move, his basic attack, is his Mystic Staff. You can press the X button once to swing it, or you can use a combo XX Hold X. So, this is one of those characters. Oh, I'm going to take out that crystal too. Look at that, that's some major damage there with that combo move he did. Just spins around. Oh, one guy survived that. Ow. One little one little X button tack later. And he's done for. Alright, now you can also show him the B button. It goes into invisibility mode. Now you're going to see some other things going on right now because of some upgrades. But basically, while invisible, you can move behind somebody and come up and hit them from underground with a major attack. There we go. Wiped out everybody else there. Now that's personally my favorite move for Enigma. And it works great on the big guys. Um, more than those little groups. But... Definitely on the big guys, that's a nice attack to sneak up behind them, come up. It does three to 400 damage. Uh, big hit right away. Uh -huh. Alright. So those are Enigma's two basic hey, attacks. And I didn't even get damaged. No. And the box didn't either, huh? That was a good job. <laughs> two moves and nothing got damaged. Alright, well let's show them the first upgraded attack with the Y button called Paradox Pound. Once we listen to Chaos here, talk a little bit, we're going to just hit the Y button to slam the staff into the ground and damage all nearby enemies. So this ought to be pretty good when they're getting toward the box. You must destroy the tombstones in order to get rid of the bat class. Oh, we need the bats go away start. with it. Not starting. Sneak attack. All right, so all you have to do is hit the Y button. Little slam. I'll do it over here with. The there you go. Now you'll notice that the enemies are getting knocked back. This is due to one of our upgrades in our specialized upgrade path. Um, that is called mind boggling, and the paradox pound the move that Connor is doing will do more damage and blast enemies back. So that actually comes from our upgrade path. I think I should do X button. These guys are hard. Uh, it's doing good damage to both of them. You just don't want it. You want to move away from them and do it. There, and I probably just smashed somebody. That way. Now you can show them with the I-5s, you might want to do your uh, invisibility mode attack. Because that one's pretty good. What just happened? Why did everything? Did you hit the B button? No! I didn't hit any, but see, you can still see me, and there's mist showed up everywhere. Yeah, that mist shows up when you go into invisibility mode. That one kind of lasts Regular. a while. Go ahead, hit the B button, come down behind him. Hold the B down, or get in the B button, buddy. And then, Boom. yeah, I think you missed. You have to watch where you're going. Little footsteps appear on the ground when you're in, in that mode to let you know where you are. There you go. Alright, well, we're going to have to talk about everything you saw there while Connor's doing his invisibility mode. Because most of those things that are going on happen due to our upgrade specialized path called um, Invisible Invader. Where we've improved the invisibility mode attacks. And so what's the first one? Well, the first one is called Ninja Style, and that's pretty simple. The attacks coming out of that mode do extra damage. Mm -hmm. 
Now, actually, we need to back up and talk about a couple of the basic upgrades we had. We had Magic Mist, which releases uh, the mist that you see on the ground when in invisibility mode will damage enemies over time. So you'll see that, that purple stuff when you go underground, that starts doing damage based on the basic upgrade called Magic Mist. And then we also have a Cloak and Dagger basic upgrade, which allows the invisibility mode to last longer and freeze enemies, though I didn't see any enemies get frozen. And the cloak on the ground will actually do damage as well. And we'll have to pay attention to that and see when you go on the ground if your cloak that you leave behind actually hurts anybody that walks over it. So that would be a good idea when the enemies are coming down to leave that cloak and see if it damages them as they walk over it. But our other upgrades in our invisibility invader path are one called mind boggling where the paradox pound will do more damage and blast enemies back we talked about that and one called give up the ghost so the ghost version of enigma will appear while in visibility mode and i think you can see that you see a couple little other enigmas when you go underground appear and they will do damage to enemies that are around them so why don't you start another wave and use the invisibility mode attack again and we'll look at everything that happens when you do that. So there you see three ghost enigmas. Oh, and you can't get you hit see by see purple him. mist. Where are you going, buddy? You're going way away from everything. You Ooh, need to stick need toward a... the box. So go on the ground. And come up and attack. Okay. You gotta be at the box, buddy. You're gonna lose it. Go underground. And then come up and hit the X button. There you go. Does a lot of damage when you come out of the ground like that. Yeah, that guy walked over the cloak and did, uh, maybe did some damage. A mist is also. Well, I don't know if that mist was dealing too much damage to those grenades. Seems like the mist should kill the grenades outright. Oh, it did that one. I think the mist is not all inclusive over the entire ground. It's over just portions of the ground. So if somebody happens to walk through that portion, then it'll do some damage. Okay, the box is almost done. That's okay. We've got only one more attack to show, and that's the Soul Gem ability. But before we get there, let's talk about the other upgrade path we did not choose, and it's called Chief of Staff. These improve the magic staff attacks. Okay, if we got that one out for you, I would really want that one. You would really want that one? Yeah, because the Shadow Path is good. Now, I like the Shadow Path myself. That does a lot of damage, and when you know how to use it, it works really well. But the Chief of Staff attacks, they do, are just a bunch of combo attacks. Um, so there's an I dash combo we can do XXB and there's an, another upgrade that does XXY and then it has something called it's raining eyes where if you hold the Y button to charge the paradox pound uh, the attack will rain down magic eyeballs. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if that works because in a second we're going to look at our soul gem ability that's supposed to do kind of the same thing but it doesn't seem to do that at all. So you ready buddy? Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's do Why one more wave. Mist? Because you're Enigma and there's mist. I'm not invisible though. Well, I don't know. I guess it likes to keep it there. Maybe it's some sort of glitch. Yeah, maybe. Everyone's looking for glitches. Alright. Start the wave, bud. Now the Soul Gem ability is called an eye for several eyes. And you have to hold the Y button and then press the X button to fire eye beams and like rain this. down uh. eyeballs. But raining. as you can see, as Connor's doing it, there's no eyeballs raining down. And it's a little bit hard to pull off. It doesn't last for long, but what it does do is good damage. And Connor can spin it around, although he can't move. There we go. I just did a paradox turn. Yeah, well that's part of that move. Since you have to hold the Y button down. Go ahead and swing your thing and get rid of some of them too. That's, it's not an easy move to pull off. Connor's doing a pretty good job in actually pulling it off. There you just load up and got all your health back. 
That was good, but too bad the boss it's not can't really, level up and get It's not really a good move to use against grenades. I mean, they're too small to really have an effect. So, all right, well, that was good. You didn't get any big enemies on that round. Yeah, the relief. Yeah, it would have been nice to see that work, but so we saw no raining eyeballs down from the soul gem attack, so. It's probably because we didn't choose the, uh, the other path. Maybe it you might, have to choose the other path yeah, to do it. Yeah, that might be true. It might be kind of tied to that other uh, upgrade path because it sounds similar to that. Um, but it's still pretty powerful, and it did 200 damage or so a couple times to enemies who got inside that beam, so definitely may be worth figuring out how to use and using it a little bit against the bigger guys but you know you can do more damage with the invisibility mode than even the soul gem just by going underground coming up behind your enemy and pressing the attack button coming out you'll do about 300 damage at a time when you come up out of that uh, attack using the fully upgraded uh, invisible invader path so I like it a lot it I use it constantly during the game and usually when you go underground they enemies stop attacking they don't know where to go so it's kind of easy to come up behind them when they're all confused so all right well you got anything else about Enigma buddy no because I think I gave it all away and won't worry about it oh yeah that's true so you have a choice between Enigma and Blaster Mine now Blaster Mine I don't really remember any of their, his attacks being super great, but he does have that ability to unlock the puzzles, the puzzles, which during your first playthrough Skylanders Draft Team may not help very much by the time you can actually um, get the Soul Gem. But if you're going to play through the game multiple times, you're going to play through the levels multiple times, you're going to try to get all of those stars, then I found that he's that ability by him just switching them on to get through a lock puzzle is pretty cool yeah and if you want to find all areas found some of them might be blocked by his lock puzzles so if you don't want to do the puzzle just switch into her and do boom yeah blast remind can get through those so i don't know i i don't know if i can really suggest either one because both of them are different i think enigma is yeah. probably stronger as a fighter when you, you but you she mm, even if we would have chose the Chief of Staff upgrade path, I bet he would have been really strong with the combos. So whether you use the invisibility yeah, attacks yeah. that are strong or the combos, I think he's probably stronger between him and Blaster Mine. Mm -hmm. Well, Blaster has got that unique ability to get through those lock puzzles. So it's up, you know, it's up to you guys to figure out which one I guess you want. There's not a clear winner in my mind. But, all right, that'll do it for Enigma, and that was our last Trap Master review, I'm pretty sure, unless we missed one. If uh, you've been following our reviews and we missed any of the Trap Masters, let us know, but I think that's all of them. Um, until next time, we got a couple more characters to get through before Superchargers, and uh, we'll be trying to get those done here very soon. So until next time, keep having fun playing Skylanders, and we'll see you again soon. Bye!